I streamed for four days non-stop until I got the Legend of the East outfit in Red Dead Redemption 2. To get the outfit, you need to complete all 90 challenges in the game, and many people estimate it can take up to like 50, 60, 70 hours to do it. So to do that in a single stream is um, a little bit nuts. The only rule is that I can't stop streaming, no matter what, until I get Legend of the East. This is gonna be a long stream. Okay, I'm just gonna put that out there. So I'm gonna need your guys' help to like, I don't know, give me advice on like how to get through it or something. So there's nine different categories of challenges that I could choose from to start with. I think we'll start with the bandit challenge, which is pretty simple. It's just like, I just need to hold up like five people. That, that should be easy. After 30 minutes or so, I finally beat it. Damn ton. All right, have I gotten this yet? I think I got it, okay. You guys didn't tell me sooner, I did get it. And once I finished Bandit 1, I continued with Bandit 2, which involved stealing wagons and giving them to some guy named Seamus. But pretty much only an hour into the stream, I decided to ditch the Bandit challenges temporarily, just because I knew I was it was gonna be a really long stream, so I decided to change the category. Should we, okay chat, should we go to other challenges to spice it up and keep the stream interesting? I wanna keep myself engaged. If I keep doing the same type of thing, it might get like kind of stale. So I decided to switch it up to gambling. I already did the first two. Third one, win five, three games of five finger fillet. This should be easy. I played this before in Red Dead 1. I don't know if it's hard in this one or not, but this is generally an easy game. So come on. Ah, what a wuss. You suck. You suck. It's just A's and Y's, bro. Look at that chat. Flawless chat. Yeah, you bet it was. What do you think you're doing? You suck. Get out of here. Then I decided to go straight back to doing Bandit 3 and 4 because I felt kind of bad for abandoning those challenges. And after doing that for an hour or so, I switched back to gambling. I just bet four more cents. All right. Yeah, you know what? Risk it for the biscuit. I'm risking it for the biscuit. I'm going all in. I'm going all in. I don't care. Again, all in. All in. Okay. Here you go. Oh, pair of fours? Damn it. <clears throat> Sorry. Gambler 4 took me hours. Many, many hours. I have the worst luck, I swear. Check, check, okay. I don't know what to do, guys. This is taking so long. Eventually, I got so tired of it and I was already five hours into this stream. So I just, I kind of gave up and went to a different set of challenges just to keep it spicy. It should not be taking, <sighs> you know what, forget it. Good vibes, good vibes, good, good times. Screw this, the gambler stuff, we'll do it later in the stream. I'll probably do it later tonight when I care less about my life. But I did not fail. I did not fail. You want to know why I didn't fail? Because we're going to come back later to do it. So we're going to go to Hunter. Skin 3 deer. See? Look at how easy that is. It's so easy. Of course I'm going to do that. After that, I got kind of stuck on Master Hunter 2, where I had to get three rabbits. Kind of started to lose it. So I decided to switch from Master Hunter to Sharpshooter challenges. And at this point, I had made it up to Sharpshooter 7. It'd be nice to completely kill a category here. Sharpshooter 8 is going to be disarm three enemies without reloading or switching your weapon. How do you disarm? How do you disarm? Like, do you shoot the weapon out of their hand? But then, unfortunately, this happened. I got it. I got it. Oh, oh, oh. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't. No. My camera fell. My camera fell, chill chat. Chill, my camera fell. I wanna fix it. I don't think my camera. Dude, I didn't even touch the camera. I literally think it was somehow I. Okay, all right, it's okay. Don't, don't break, don't break. Okay, we're fine. Eventually I was able to figure out Sharpshooter 7 by going to the oil fields and shooting the guard, the same guard over here in the elbow. All right, so this is gonna be the first one we disarm. So elbows, right? Oh, we got it. Okay, that's one. That's two, all right. So it should be, so it should be. Oh, oh, we did it, chat. See that, we did it. Let's go, chat. Oh, it feels so good. It's so hard, but the harder it is, the best, the better it feels when you get it. Shoot three people's hats off. The same dead eye. Okay, chat, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need some help on this one. How do I do this one? For that one, I needed to get a specific story mission done in chapter four that I hadn't gotten done yet. So I ended up wasting an hour trying to figure it out, but it turns out that I actually couldn't do it at that point. So I went to another set of challenges, herbalist challenges. Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, sweet. Last arrow right here. As you can see, the sleep deprivation was starting to hit me. 
It was about seven hours into the stream at that point. But after another hour or so, I kind of just decided I was pretty bored of Herbalist challenges. So I kind of, I just switched right back to bandit challenges. We'll come back to it later. It's not a big deal. I'm gonna keep, what's the next bandit one? Oh, this is easy. Kill five horses and sell them to the horse fence at Clemens, that's so easy. Oh, you got some sass, huh? This is the first ho horse. And then finally bandit six was done. Okay. Okay, so that, that that's it. That's it, Chad. That should be the one. Rob, $50? worth of cash and valuables from townsfolk and travelers. I think the smart thing to do is to wait until the trade starts moving, then we get it to wilderness territory so that it's harder for the law to catch it on. Oh, chat, chat. At this point, I had to start standing up a little bit because my pack was hurting so bad. Here's some Malaysian money. Thank you. Thank you for the Malaysian dollar. This is what eight hours of streaming straight does. It gives you serious lumbago. Getting the $50 for Bandit 7 was easy enough. Sure enough, I reached Bandit 8. One, steal seven wagons and sell them to the... Oh, it's just... It's more grindy stuff. And from there, I just decided I wanted to finish off the Bandit challenges. Talk to someone and leave them on the railroad three times. Yo, chat, let's go. This is one of my favorite things to do in Red Dead. Let's go. I then asked my chat if I should go after women or men for Bandit 9. And their response is pretty terrible. Should I should I hogtie a man or a woman chat? Spam it right now. Man yeah. or woman. We're gonna find out how sexist this chat is. Yo, chat. Chat, chat hates feminism confirmed. And sure enough, just like chat said, I did use women to complete bandit nine. Let's just get this woman right here. She's she's definitely that's definitely a woman. Okay, I, I'd be very surprised. Complete five trade robberies without dying or being. Uh, and then for Bandit 10, chat told me that all I had to do was go to the back of any train and I should be able to steal without getting caught. So do I go to the back of the train to do that? Where's the cans of food? Oh, it worked. It actually worked. Yo, you guys are so genius, man. And with chat's help, I was finally able to finish all the Bandit challenges. Yo, let's go chat. Bandit 10 out of 10. New re re reinforced equipment at the trapper. I asked chat what I should do next and immediately I was getting responses to go back to the gambler challenges. So I was still stuck on gambler five where I needed to bust three people out. And it was really just a matter of luck and poker skill to determine if I could get past this. It took me like another 20 minutes, but we got it. I'm not, I can't use mods chat. Like the, I'm doing this purposely. Someone went all in. If we win this. Oh, oh, I think we busted someone chat. Yeah, chat. Let's go, chat. And then pretty much Gambler 4 was done when I busted the guy I needed to out of Flat Neck Station. Yes! Yes, chat. That was the first try. Good job to whoever said all in, bro. Let's go. After that, I was back on the Herbalist grind, and I was still on Herbalist 1. I spent hours grinding the early Master Hunter challenges and the early Herbalist challenges. However, though, I was, as I was nearing the 18-hour mark of my stream, my chat started to turn against me out of concern. Bro, go to sleep. You guys telling me to go to sleep is not very supportive, guys. Okay? You're supposed to be pushing me to finish the challenge, not give up. I don't want to give up. I don't want to be a loser. Unfortunately, chat persisted. I needed to sleep. Now, obviously, the rules say that I can't stop the stream. But there's no rule that said that I couldn't sleep. So this journey became a sleep stream. I recorded myself sleeping for about six hours straight because I, I desperately needed the rest to finish the rest of the challenges over the next three days. I didn't want to show any of my skin, but I accidentally exposed my foot a little bit. And that led to some very, very uh, interesting comments in the chat. Thankfully though, I eventually woke up. Hello chat, we're back chat. Just a second. All right, back chat. My foot, what do you mean? Is that what you guys saw the entire stream? Now when it came to dominoes, I had literally no idea what I was doing. I had no idea how to play this game, it was a struggle. I don't know what I'm doing guys. So then after a while, I lost my patience and I just decided, you know what, screw it. We're just gonna go on to a different category and come back to Domino's later. Come back to Gambler then. For now, we'll do something else. You got suspended because of me? Sorry. You know what? We're on Weapons Expert 5. Kill five mounted enemies using one throwing knife per kill. Okay, that's easy. This one was super easy. Okay, what is this next one? Kill four enemies with a single stick of dynamite. Doesn't seem that hard. For some reason, this one turned out to be a bit trickier than I thought. Have a nice poker game, fellas. 
Wait. But did that didn't work? How did that not work? We got f that was like five people. Is there a better way to do this chat? For some reason, it worked in the town of Van Horn, but not in Santony. I should be four. Yo. Next up was Weapons Expert 7, which was to kill four consecutive enemies by throwing and retrieving the same tomahawk. This one was also pretty simple. There we go. There we go, Weapons Expert 7. Okay, kill 15 enemies using a long barreled sidearm. So I basically kept grinding Weapons Expert challenges for another few hours until we got to the final one. A grizzly bear without taking damage using only throwing knives? Someone in my chat came up with a brilliant idea of just using a poison throwing knife. And that really was a genius idea. Weapons expert category beaten. Good job, chat. Good job. We did it. So from here, I still hadn't unlocked the survivalist challenge. Apparently to unlock that, you need to catch three bluegill. So I basically grinded survivalist challenges for another few hours, still feeling energized from my sleep. And then I got brave enough to go back to the gambler challenges. Uh, win three rounds of dominoes without drawing any tiles. You don't have to win them in a row, so I don't need to like save or anything. The NPC you playing with looks like a minion. Oh, yeah, he does kind of look like a minion. Eventually, after some blind luck, I got it. We got it. Two of three. Oh, three of three. No more dominoes for now, chat. Beat the blackjack dealer in every location. That's easy. The gambler grind was real. Gambler six did get pretty frustrating. All right, we got 12. Hit me. 13. Hit me again. 14. Hit me again. Oh, I busted with 22. Oh, we got it. We got it. That was so easy. Gambler six. Okay. Now we got to beat the five fingered billet. Gambler seven was easy too. It was once Gambler eight was unlocked that hell became a very familiar place for me. Gambler eight challenges pain. You know, I was looking at Gambler eight. It doesn't look that bad. Oh, giga chat. Chat, what is a giga chat? I dropped my camera chat and I'll fix it. What is a giga chat? It ended up taking so long I ended up giving up again. What do you mean skill issue? Give me a car. What skill issue? Who has a skill issue? All right, chat. All right, chat. We need a break from this chat. Clearly, it's it's like you sometimes you just gotta take a break and move on to something else for for a while. All right, we're doing Master Hunter. I think that's the one. I had now made my way up to Master Hunter six. And for this one, I needed to kill five cougars with my bow. Now this one, again, was a grind, but I was able to finally figure out that if you just keep going to Owen Gila, there's almost always a cougar that spawned there. So that only took another few hours. And once I finished that, I felt confident enough to go back and try Gambler 8 again. I watched the videos from Turkey. Bro, really? Okay, chat, my camera, I'm gonna fix the chat. I'll be honest, this was one of the hardest challenges to do. It, it took me another three, four hours. Just winning blackjack three times in a row, the chance of it happening is so low, which is why Cambler 8 sucks so much ass. I was so sleep deprived at this point, but when I finally got it, it was so bliss. 15. Yep, card. A 21. <laughs> got a Lost it. Wait a second, chat. Wait a second, chat. We may have done... Yes, chat! W's in the fucking chat. Holy crap, chat. This dealer? Yo. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. You? W's in the chat. Don't blame me. I had to get my anger out. I did some celebratory push-ups to wake myself up. Six. Seven, eight, oh, chat, chat, this is kind of hard, chat, straighten my back. And now it was time for Gambler 9. Where's Pumpkin? I struggled Gambler 9 for a month. Start with the high tiled domino first. You see, Gambler 9 was another one that sucked. This one was another one that actually took me probably around four or five hours, since I still especially had no idea how to play dominoes. Who even knows how to play freaking dominoes? Yo, chat, do you see this shit? I grabbed every- This is it for you, I'm afraid. This is what I was waiting for! Thank you. Okay. 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 Completely fine, chat. 
completely fine chat. But luckily with enough perseverance and moving to the Santini Domino's table, I was able to do it. Oh, we won. We won. Go. No more Domino's for the rest of the video. No more Domino's for the rest of the video, chat. Isn't that something to think about? So now I was finally going to finish the gambler challenges. Gambler 10. Win three hands of poker in a row. This one was actually surprisingly easy though. My strategy was just to simply go all in every time. Just have no fear and then literally just hope that my hand was good enough. It was a pretty bold strategy to just go all in every time. But surprisingly, it only took me half an hour to finish Gambler 10 this way. Screw it. I better go all in. We did it. We did it. We did it. We just, it's easy. You just scared them. You make them, you make them your bitch. You make, let's go chat. W's that we just beat all the gambler challenges. Yes, yes, yes. Now with the gambler challenges done, it was time to find another category to continue tackling. And for this, I decided horseman challenges. Uh, ride from Valentine to Rhodes in less than five minutes. That's easy. And it was pretty easy. Honestly, a lot of the horseman challenges were really easy. Also, just a little tip for anybody that's gonna try getting Legend of the East themselves, please pay attention to this part because it took me literally 50 hours into this challenge before I finally figured it out. You can check your progress by pressing left on the D-pad. Oh, how did I not know this? Where has, chat, chat, where has this list been? my entire life how did i just find out about this what that is a fat l chat fat l the entire time the entire time i could have known about this and i've been going to the menu every <sighs> nice job nice job so i kept doing horseman challenges for a few hours and i'll be honest i was starting to get really really tired it was so hard to keep my eyes open because i had been streaming pretty much 40 plus hours straight. And yes, I did sleep once, but it was only for five hours. So I was pretty tired. Sleep deprivation is the best. Yo chat, my eyes are so heavy chat. And one important thing to realize is when you don't get enough sleep, it's hard to function. So it was taking me like 10 times longer than I probably should to do these challenges. And after chat begging me to go to sleep, I decided it was time for the second sleep stream. Sleep stream starts now. After a few hours, I woke up and it was time to get back to it. So I started off my morning by going to tackle Horseman 9, riding from Van Horn to Blackwater. And my first few attempts were pretty terrible and I failed, mainly because it was super hard to get into Blackwater because Arthur is wanted there and running into trees. However, in the middle of it all, I got a little bit distracted. I invited someone onto the stream to help me give motivation by doing voice impressions of Red Dead 2 characters. He claimed he could do impressions of Dutch and Arthur from the game. Listen to this. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do Tahiti. He's a... Well, who lives there? I don't know. Tahitians? Chat. Here's another one where he was doing an impression of the Murphy Brood Gang member from this scene. Y'all knew this was Murphy Hills. You should be careful where you're camping. Y'all knew this was Murphy Hills. Be careful where you're camping. I can look after myself. Besides, free country, free country. No, everything bought and paid for. Come on, let's go. I think he got the message. Are you good or what? Yo, chat. That was the best one yet. Chat, I, that sounded, I hate that I can do the Murphy. Chat, sounded, I, whoever knows yeah. that interaction chat, that sounded exactly like that guy. Holy crap, you can play an inbred yeah. person <laughs> so well. How do you do that? <laughs> I How don't know whether to be yeah. insulted or not. No, 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 not in an insulting way. And here's one more where he does a Micah impression, and it's amazing. Okay, um, do you want me to do Micah where he's saying, I'm a survivor, Black Lot? Yes. Rat! You rat! I'm a survivor, Black Lock! A survivor! That's all there is! Living and dying! Chat. Did that get well? Holy crap, chat. Shout out to that guy. His voice impressions were amazing. This is his YouTube right here. Please check it out. So now we were moving on to survivalist challenges, and I was on survivalist five at this point, which involved killing scavenging animals while they're feeding on corpses. So I ended up killing a lot of animals for this, 
trying to attract scavengers. But it took me a while to figure it out, to be honest. Eventually, I figured out the best way to get them was simply just scope from a large enough cliff where you can get a good vantage point, kill a deer, and wait for a predator to come. Let's go chat! So I continued with Survivalist 7. Predator bait. Survivalist 7 was really easy. You just have to go into this cave and just hit these small little rats with small game arrows. Let's go! Survivalist 8 was pretty easy. It was just crafting a bunch of stuff. And then I got to Survivalist 9, which was catching a fish that weighs at least 19 pounds. And if you want to do that one, this is how you do it. I think you might, I might go up to the lake, right? Lake Isabella. If this isn't 19 pounds, pounds chat, I'm going to go ape shit. Chat! 54 pounds, chat! So after I finally finished the survivalist challenges, I then spent the next few hours grinding the rest of the master hunter challenges and herbalist challenges. None of them were really too notable. It was just a lot of grindy stuff. It wasn't until I got, I finally reached Horseman 9 that things got interesting. Apparently for Horseman 9, you don't even have to go directly into Blackwater. If you stop at the shore right there, it should do Horseman 9 for you. Let's go chat! Horseman 10 was really, really hard though. Trying to find all the horse breeds in the game, that was not fun at all. And I had to travel around the map a lot. I was so tired and sleep deprived. Kind of losing my mind there. Rat tail orchid. Rat tail orchid. Now begins one of the hardest challenges in the entire thing for me. And that was Herbalist 9. There are so many different herbs in this game that you have to pick and collect for this one. And once again, I was so freaking tired. So I began sleep stream number four. I slept for like nine hours this time, which was definitely a much needed rest. Clearly though, my chat wasn't happy with me. Wake TF up PLS. Thank you, cat. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> this actually ended up waking me up. My god, I'm up! At this point, I was 80 hours in, so even though I got sleep, I was still a little crazy in the head. Thank you, everybody who's been waiting this entire time. Obama, I'm doing pretty good, Barack. My parents let me stay home from school. JFK, JFK, what excuse did you come up with? I was so mentally far gone that I was talking to former US presidents in the chat. Now we were back to that grind, Herbalist 9. Now the tricky part about doing Herbalist 9 as Arthur is the fact that New Austin has a sniper and you'll get wanted if you step foot in, in that area of the map. So technically with glitches it is possible so I did give these a try with the help of my chat by using the buggy method which is supposed to work. I gave it a couple genuine tries but it just took such an insane amount of precision that I just did not have and the sniper unfortunately got me. No! So I decided if I can't do that method, then I'm going to have to play through the entire story. I was at chapter four at this point when I started this. I'd have to play through the entire story all the way up until epilogue one when I get to play as John so that I could get the rest of the herbs I needed for Herbalist 9. Yo, I'm hot as heck right now. No, no, no. We're not wasting. I'm not wasting any more time with this chat. I can't. I'm just not. I don't have the, No. Yeah. Well, let's just grind. Through. Trust me. It'll be faster. I'm going to skip cutscenes. We'll be super fast about it. I'll purposely fail. It should take like a couple hours, but... Wrong. I played through chapters 4, chapter 5, and chapter 6, and it took 12 hours on stream. I was dying. Still, when I got to the end, it almost made me cry like it always does. And since we had low honor and chat told me to help John, we had one of the worst endings of the entire game. I gave you all I had. I did. I tried. In the end, I did. Chat, you did this, chat. You did this, chat. This is what you get. Now we were finally playing as John, and I could get the final herbs I needed find this English, this English mace. But then unfortunately tragedy struck. It turns out that I had missed a plant somewhere as Arthur 
on the main map, not in New Austin. And since Rockstar wasn't telling me which plants I was missing and, I, and it said that I discovered them all, I had to go back and get every single herb to see which one that I missed. It was agonizing. Worth a try. Let's just try American ginseng first. If that doesn't work, then I don't know. We'll have to do every single one. I think I need to sue Rockstar, chat. I had to go back and restart doing Herbalist 9 from scratch to see which one I missed. And luckily, halfway through it, I ended up finding mm. an Oleander Sage that ended up being the one that I needed. Oleander Sage? Someone write that down in the chat. I was so freaking happy. So even though Herbalist 10 isn't that hard because I was so sleep deprived and because chat kept trolling me, I literally kept getting misled and going to the wrong animals that I needed to get the certain seasoned meats that I needed. It was, it was terrible. I was losing my mind. Chat, stop making me laugh. I'm not going insane. I'm just laughing because you guys think I'm going insane. Big difference. I'm not going crazy anymore. See, the reason I started going crazy is because I lost confidence. I lost confidence, but... But this was technically the last challenge that I needed to do. At this point, Herbalist 10 was the last challenge and I was 89 of 90 done. Where, where do we find pork, chat? I gradually found every type of meat I needed for Herbalist 10 and finally, the last challenge was done. I've completed all challenges and unlocked the Legend of the East bestows multiple benefits, including increasing the range of eagle eye and decreasing health core drain rate. We freaking did it. Chaps. After four days, non-stop streaming. Congrats. Hope I was helpful sometimes. This journey was super fun to watch these last few days. Hoping for more streams, folded hands, Abigail cut out when BTW. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you, man. It was, it's been fun. It's also been hell, but it's been fun. Most of it was fun. We got it. Four days. Now I could finally sleep forever.